students today we will study the differences between the fetal skull and the adult skull now the features that are seen here are that the facial region in a fetal skull is relatively smaller and is only 1/8 of the entire cranium while in an adult skull the facial region occupies almost half of the cranium second we look at the nasal aperture which lies entirely between the two bony orbits in a fetal skull while the nasal aperture is at a lower level in an adult skull next we see the frontal tuberosities and the parietal tuberosities which are very prominent in the fetal skull while they are not so prominent in the adult skull the glabella superciliary arches are absent in the fetal skull while they are very well seen in the adult skull the frontal bones are seen as two separate bones with the metopic suture in between in the fetal skull while in an adult skull the frontal bone is a single bone the squamous and lateral as well as basilar parts of the occipital bones are all separate in the fetal skull while occipital bone is a single bone in adults the mastoid process is well developed in an adult skull while it is absent in the fetal skull similarly the stylomastoid foramen is exposed onto the lateral aspect of the fetal skull while in an adult skull it is seen as a well defined foramen on the inferior surface when we talk of the paranasal sinuses these are all rudimentary or absent in the fetal skull maxillary sinuses are usually identifiable while in an adult skull all the sinuses are well appreciated the maxillary sinus starts developing between 0 to 3 years and completes its development by 6 to 12 years of age while the ethmoidal and sphenoidal sinuses develop between the 3rd to 7th year frontal sinus develops at the age of 7 years these were the important differences between the adult skull and the fetal skull thank you